One of the most important parts of being at school is learning. But how do we actually learn? It is a complicated process, which is different for every individual. However, learning usually involves adding information to your long-term memory, developing new skills, and understanding new ideas or connections between things you know and can do. We have worked together to create the Great Learning Habits, a framework to support you to think about learning. We call them habits because the idea is to use them, little and often, in a way which suits you in a range of subjects. So let's take a quick look at each one. Get an overview. Ask your teachers to help you understand how what you are doing fits into your previous learning or your course as a whole. Learning works best when you can link it to something bigger. Learn a bit at a time. Did you know that most humans can only hold between five and nine pieces of information in their short-term memory? That's why most people can't immediately remember an 11-digit phone number. So don't overload your brain, break things down into manageable chunks and take regular breaks. Metacognition. It sounds complicated, but we do it all the time. Think about doing a self-portrait. You'll need pencils, paints and paper. A light room with enough time and space to concentrate without distraction. You might need a mirror. You'll need to keep looking back at your face while you paint, readjusting your approach. When you've finished, you might compare it with a photo or other famous self-portraits to see if you can make any improvements or changes next time. Metacognition is really about deciding to do something, planning what you need to do it well, thinking about it while you do it, and then reflecting on it afterwards. Space out your practice. Cramming and trying to be an expert overnight isn't a reliable learning method. To really learn, you need to practice the same skill or knowledge often over a period of time. One scientific study found that people who revised the same information regularly with a 58 day gap in between could remember their learning over eight years later. Respond to feedback. When you get advice on how to improve, listen and try to act on it. If you're not sure, ask your teachers. Rehearse and repeat. Learning usually slips out of your short-term memory pretty quickly. You've got to repeat, repeat, repeat before it sticks long-term. The best free kick takers on the football field have practiced the same actions thousands and thousands of times. Those are our great learning habits. We hope they're helpful. Your teachers will have lots more advice and practical ideas about how you can learn as well as possible.